G'day everybody and welcome to Springvale Reserve for the final episode of Espinel TV for 2017. The biggest event on the Espinel calendar is finally here, Division 1 Grand Final Day. And history will be made as Dingley take on Morty Alec for the Division 1 Senior Premiership. The Dingoes are going to become the first side since Ball win in 2000 to make it a Premiership 3 Pete. While for the Bloods, it'll be their first ever piece of Division 1 silverware if they can get the chocolates here this afternoon. Dingley are also in action in the Division 1 Reserves Grand Final, taking on Cheltenham, while St Kilda City and Oakley District doing battle in the under 19. So, should be a very big day. Let's go and see what it has in store for us. from Oakley District. Number 22, Anthony Luparelli. Yeah. And lucky enough to be joined now by the Morty Alec President, Terry Evans. Tez, welcome to the show, mate. Thank you, Will. Good to be here. I'm sure it is. It's uh, been a fantastic year for you guys. Yes, it has. Uh, we're mighty pleased that we're here. Uh, it takes a lot of work behind the scenes and you know, on the field as well to get to here. So we're, gra we're wrapped, absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, last time we spoke, you just installed uh, Daniel Quinn as the new coach of the senior team, and he's done a sensational job to get you to a grand final. That's it. Um, he's taken over beautifully. Yeah, we're wrapped that he's done it. Uh, it's been uh, a smooth, smooth transition. Uh, the guys have uh, absolutely understood the way he wants to coach and what he's trying to do, and we're absolutely, like I said, wrapped about it. So, fantastic. And you got some players in some uh, in some red hot form, and Morris in particular kicking six goals in the last game against uh, against Dingley. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, it's great for Jimmy, and it was great for us. But um, you know, every day's a different day, so we hope he does it again. But uh, you never know. The weather's fickle. It's uh, a lot of wind out here, so who knows what happens. Let's go back to a fortnight ago against the Dingoes. I mean, traditionally these sort of clashes, Morty Dingley have been cited by a kick or less, but uh, you seem to blow them off the park. A sensational game of footy from your perspective. Yeah, well, it's probably uh, one of the better games I've seen outside play. It, uh, it was an even spread, and you don't get that in many games. Um, and I just hope we haven't played our grand final too early. So it's, it was great to see, and I just hope we can maintain it. Do you think you can? Well, as a coach... Uh, coach as a president you hope yes yeah no worries yeah certainly <laughs> so how's how's the day going to go i mean it's always come down to who settles first but how do you see the day panning out um like i said the with the wind and everything you just don't know it's uh it's a 50 50 it's uh, the bounce of the ball the luck factor um obviously i'm hoping we're in front in that by the uh end of the first quarter it gives us a, a good look into the, uh, where we've got to be at for the first half and then uh, hopefully we can uh, keep going in the second half. And Premiership quarter, you know, we come out pretty strong in the third quarter, so hopefully, uh, yeah, we're in front. But like I said, I don't, <laughs> I don't guarantee you anything in this game. Oh, well, fantastic. I hope it all goes well for you and uh, another Premiership Cup to celebrate at the end of the day, hopefully. Yeah, that'd be great, Will, and uh, thanks for backing us. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs>
Our welcome medalist is from the Cheltenham Football Netball Club. Number 30, Chris Graham. Great stuff, Chris. 2017 Division 1 Reserve for is Cheltenham Football Netball Club. And joined now by the president of the Dingley Football Netball Club, Cole Cranny. Cole, welcome to the show. Thanks, Will. Good to be here. Good to be here on Grand Final Day again. Uh, again, as always, uh, yep. fourth, fourth year in a row now. How are the nerves? I ask you this question every year. Yeah, you know, you do ask me every year, and I think every year I tell you I'm feeling a bit toey. Um, yeah, I think um, it doesn't matter how often you're here. Um, hairs on the back of your neck stand up. The, um, the butterflies turn up in the stomach, and, um, you know, you just you stand back, you take a few deep breaths, and um, you hope that the ball's going to bounce your way. It's the best day of the year to be playing footy, isn't it? Oh, look, it absolutely is. The guys on the radio asked me earlier, um, you know, do you, do you get sick of, of being here? And you go, well, um, you're never going to complain about being busy at this time of year. Yep. And, uh, no, look, we've been really fortunate to get here for a fourth year in a row, and um, both seniors and reserves, fourth year in a row. So, yeah, big day for us, big day for our club. Yeah, well done. And uh, going for three consecutive premierships, first side to do that since uh, 2000. So, piece of history on the line. Has that been spoken about internally? Is that something that, that motivates the club? Uh, look, we, we've spoken about it a bit on our social media channels over the course of the, uh, the week and I think it got mentioned a little bit at the start of the year but um, look, we've had a lot of turnover in terms of our playing group over the last three years. Um, there's not actually a lot of guys who are going to be out there for the third time. Um, there's a few guys going for their first flag, a few for their second. Um, so no, look, it's, it's not really a motivator for us. I mean, every year you, you take it as it comes and um, every year you want to win it. So it um, be nice to have the history but it's, it's not the driving factor for us. Yeah, fair enough. How does this side this year compare to the uh, Dingley Premiership sides of uh, the last couple? Oh, look, every uh, every team's different. I think um, at the start of this year, if we'd looked at our playing list, we probably would have said it was uh, was a weaker side. Um, I, I don't mean that to be derogatory, but probably not as experienced a team uh, as we've had in the last few years. But uh, look, if you look at the, the brand of footy that they're playing, they're playing together as a team, and that's all that you can ask. And Shane's done a really good job in, in getting them up again. Um, and look, I think that they've got as good a chance as anyone. Yep. He's a superstar, Shane, no doubt about that. Now, how do you think the, the day's going to pan out? You've got a few uh, absolute jets in that side. Do you think you have what it takes to uh, take home the cup at the end of the day? Oh, look, I, I definitely think we've got what it takes. I um, mean, obviously, two weeks ago, um, Morty gave us a, a fair lesson. Um, hopefully, we've taken some lessons out of that, and um, we'll, we'll use those to our advantage today. Obviously, the wind's going to have a big influence. It's, yep. it's blowing a gale out here. Um, so, look, it's really going to be, and I think this gets mentioned all the time, when, when you come to grand finals, it's, it's about basics, which team settles first, um, and it'll be which team utilises the wind, um, both for and against. Yep. Fantastic. Hope it all goes well for you. Very best of luck today, mate. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Let's take a lift from that. Yes. Okay. Clearly from there, around the contest, they put numbers around the contest, <laughs> we were able to open it up. Okay. This time, this quarter, we've got to take the game on. Okay, we've got to take it on. We didn't look to switch, we didn't sort of open it up. We need to try and do that now, okay? Let's get first hands on the footy and get it out. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the 20 teammates last week. Let's get it, boys! It makes this more special, but like this place done for this football game. And more importantly, over the last couple of weeks. Come on, let's do it! Let's go! Let's go. 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 Let's go.
And joined now by the two co-captains, Jackson Pete and Trav LaRocca. Trav, what a feeling. Unbelievable. Uh, couldn't be more prouder of the boys to do it three years in a row, but to bounce back from two weeks ago to what Morty did to us. Um, unbelievable feeling and so proud. Spot on. And you were down there in the back half in that, uh, that third quarter, the premiership quarter. You really held them tight. It was. Um, it was unbelievable. The pressure. I haven't really been, been involved in that sort of quarter before, so... Um, we just jumped on the footy, did everything we could to try and limit their score, and we uh, really set ourselves up for a big last quarter. Yeah, fantastic. And Jackson back at the club this year, and he won premiership. Must be a great feeling. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, it, was, um, it was an honour to take over the captaincy with Travi from uh, Lee Wanakot and Tony Lavers, who have done it for the last 11-odd years, you know. So we, we had big shoes to fill, and um, yeah, absolute honour and privilege to represent this footy club. Um, and, yeah, just so proud to be a part of it, mate. Yeah, fantastic. And a terrific game of footy as well. You guys were dominant from, say, quarter time onwards and oh, just a magical feeling, isn't it? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, me and Travis spoke before the game actually and spoke about just due to the wind, the team that would win this would probably be the team that can uh, hold one team to, you know, level level playing field in one quarter. So, um, and we were able to do that in the third quarter. That's all Shane asked of us and so proud of the boys. We we really answered to what Shane wanted and yeah, it, was, it was a really good result. And obviously the third, a three-peat for the uh, for the club. What does that mean for the uh, for not only the club but the Dingley community? Well, that's it, mate. Yeah, Ding Dingley's built around the community. It's not um, <laughs> it's not only it's not only about us. You know, we're lucky enough to be out here playing. But uh, Dingley's support, like the, all the supporters at Dingley, the committee, uh, the members, and just the general Dingley hub, Dingley community um, would love this. Like you go down the street, you see. Uh, Dingley, Dingley balloons all over the shop, mate. So it's great to have the whole community behind you, mate. Mate, that is absolutely awesome. And no, mate, you've, you've played in a few now. How's this one rank? I've been pretty lucky to play in a few in a row. Um, look, the, uh, leading into that, I said if we could win this one, it would probably mean the most to not only be able to hold the cup up there, but um, the challenges we've faced during the year and um, the way we've really responded as a group and shown a lot of resolve. Um, yeah, it's probably up there with the with the best. And one final one for both of you boys. Premiership captains, how's that sit with you? Oh, it sounds, I like the sound of it. It's got a pretty good ring to it. Yeah, mate, we've been, we've been best mates growing up, played all our footy together, mate, so nothing better. Mate, fantastic. I'll let you guys go and enjoy it. You've deserved it. Well done. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Will. And I've got Premiership Ruckman Chris Morgan with me. Morgs, what a way to finish up. Absolutely amazing, mate. Couldn't have, couldn't have planned it better and uh, with a better bunch of boys. Amazing. You kept it a little bit hush-hush, a la your uh, predecessor in um, Tony Lavers that announced to the playing group at the three-quarter time huddle. What was going through your head in the last quarter? Uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of emotion sort of going around, uh, especially with the game right in the balance. It was a bit, uh, bit sort of tough to keep it together, but when you get a group of boys like that, it's, yeah, they're, they're going to push. It was phenomenal. And a milestone game for you as well, 200 big ones? 200 big ones. Didn't think I'd get there, but uh, bloody happy I did in the end. You can't write a script like this, Morgs. Uh, no, no, they, they might make it into a small movie, maybe a local <laughs> one, but uh, probably, probably not worthy of it. And mate, how does it feel finishing up with Premiership player and 200 games? You've done it all, mate. Uh, completely satisfying, mate. I, I couldn't have sort of given any more or done any more. Yeah, that, that's definitely me done. I'm a content man. Enjoy your retirement, but most of all, enjoy this win, mate. You've earned it. Well done. Done. Thanks, Bill. And I've got our Manili medalist, Danny Age, with us. Danny, has it sunk in yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, it should have by now, but no, it definitely hasn't. On, cl on cloud nine, I'm assuming? Yeah, that's the best of the three that I've been involved with. So, yeah, huge. And a super performance from yourself? Um, yeah, I just I didn't seem to have an opponent. So, so I'd be uh, pretty disappointed if I didn't get a kick, to be fair. That third quarter was just a remarkable footy. You guys really st stood up and showed what uh, Dingley footy's all about. Yeah, we, um, we had a good chat at half-time and just sort of reiterated that the, you know, the importance of that third quarter, like that, that grand final was going to be won based on that third quarter. So... To perform that, like I, I rate that as probably our um, best quarter of the year. So like that just set the whole game up, and um, yeah, super proud of the whole whole team. And to do it for a, a bloke like uh, Morgs playing his 200th and final game, it must be really special for the group. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Like his um, his his CV around Dingley is like huge. You know, that's three flags, BNF winner. Like he'll be life member, so massive, massive incentive. So three uh, feet, baby. <laughs> He's not shy, Cal, is he? No, no, great. Maybe great. Dream him for an, uh, an interview. Oh, we'll Come bring, in. We'll bring him over. We'll bring him over. Yeah. <laughs> Cal, the Dreamer Queen and leading goal kicker in the uh, Division One Senior Comp, mate. How are you feeling? Oh, mate, on top of the world. Three feet. Awesome.
a bloody good performance from uh, from you boys today, as I mentioned to a few of the guys, and uh, you must be pretty proud of them. Oh, yes, mate. It's just super effort from the boys, like, especially when we lost to them two weeks ago by 10 goals, and to come out and just just win like that was the best out of all three. Sorry for swearing. No, don't worry about it. We'll bleep. <laughs> don't worry about it, mate. We'll uh, we'll bleep it out. So the most special of the three? Oh, easy, by, by far. Like, it, was, it was just the best. It was a team effort. Everyone did their job. Like, it was just... It's just awesome. I think the, the way best. I think the way the boys responded, um, and not just like to come out last week and then also this week, but to respond the Tuesday night after the loss. Actually, put it back. It was the su- it was the Sunday night after the loss. We all went in as a group. Yeah, all of us sat like, down. We, um, no coaches. We all said, all the boys as a group went in, and we all sat down and had a heart to heart, and that's what turned us all around. I reckon that heart to heart was awesome. Listening to uh, to morph in the rooms after the game said the first sort of five six weeks of the season weren't really up to the standard, but you must be pleased with the way that uh, you've turned it around personally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, both of us or the team. Yeah, the team was like uh, just we weren't we had hard hard again after six uh, six weeks, and we were just said that we need to change this and that, and we did it. And like looking on the flag, mate, like just tip top. Did you expect that at, at around that mark five five rounds in? Did you really think the three peat was uh, really on the cards? Oh, to, to be honest, no, I, I didn't think we were up to it. I actually thought, like, I was like, oh, if we finish third, we might have a chance. But to finish on top, that we did, like, then as soon as we, um, as soon as we beat Bentley, I, I knew I think we were going to win it. So a leading goal kicker, Manili medalist and premiership medals. What a great way to end the season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enormous. A solid, solid night ahead. So. <laughs> we might, oh, we might yeah. leave it there. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Thanks, mate. Go and enjoy, fellas, you've earned it. Goal feelings don't get much better than that, do they? Uh, no, mate, they uh, they certainly don't. Um, he spoke to you before the game and uh, obviously a little bit uh, toey, I think was the word that I used, but, um, mate, I'm just so super proud of these guys. The, uh, the effort that they put in to turn around uh, a 10-goal defeat two weeks ago, um, to come out and have a seven-goal win today in uh, that third quarter, just unbelievable footy, mate. Just That's that's what it's all about. It's heart and soul. It's um, It defines what our club's about. And, um, mate, just... Unbelievably proud. No doubt you are. It's a special group of guys. It is a very, very special group of guys. When I talked about the fact that we've had turnover uh, over the last couple of years, so there's not a lot of guys who have, who have managed to three-peat with us, but to um, to step up year after year after year um, and just uh, the, the way that they play for each other, the way that they play for the club, the way they play for the jumper, um, it, we've got something pretty special at our club. Absolutely do. Three premierships to toast, the three-peat doesn't happen too often. Must be a sensational feeling, not only for the club, but for the entire community as well. Yeah, look, as I said before the game, um, you know, Dingley's a very special community. Um, you know, they get it around us um, unbelievably. And, uh, yeah, look, this is, this is a pretty awesome feeling. Um, I won't deny I had a few tears in my eyes at three-quarter time. I, uh, I felt like we were there. Um, and at the end of the game, yeah, yeah, pretty special, mate. Absolutely. How do you enjoy those last few moments? Uh, well, for me, uh, I was running water. Um, I, I made my way back to the bench, and it was just uh, it was just high fives and hugs, mate. Um, you know, I'm looking at this man over here, Shane Moorwood, uh, what he's brought to our club, the the change. Um, you know, we, we've always had something special at our footy club, but uh, you know, in seven years, to take us from ninth uh, to three time premiers, uh, yeah, he, he's galvanised this group. He's done something really special, and I'm just I'm incredibly proud of the group and and to have been involved in in what he's brought. Absolutely sensational and a uh, big night of celebrating ahead, I'm assuming? Uh, I think so. I'm going to apologise to the Dingley community uh, right now. We're going to make some noise. Uh, you don't win three uh, in a row very often. So, um, yeah, sorry guys. It's school holidays though, so hopefully if your kids don't sleep, um, you know, they'll have some time to recover tomorrow. Mate, you've certainly earned that right. Go ahead and enjoy it, pal. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate and the super coach, Shane Morwood, three-time premiership coach. Great feeling. It's an amazing feeling, Will. It's, uh, I, I think it's starting to sink in. I said to the radio boys before, they said, how do you feel? I said, uh, I don't know, I've just got to pinch myself, really. So it's been a, it's been a tough season, tough year, the you know, last 12 months, you know, especially when we came back in November. You know, the, the guys weren't right. Um, so, and that's a bit of complacency and just think, oh, yeah, we're, we're good enough. But, you know, we had some retirees last year, some key players um, not playing with us. And uh, to be able to change... You know, after that three, four, five weeks sort of point and sort of get back on track a bit, and then we just lost away a little bit late in the season. A lot of players were injured and missed a lot of a lot of footy, and that probably didn't help. But their mindsets, it's, it's always the key. And I think the, you know, after the loss here two weeks against Morley Oak, they've been able to actually respond to that and uh, and show what they can do. I was actually just about to ask you about that. Go back to two weeks ago, smashed by ten goals, and to do what you guys did here today against the very same opponent must make you as a coach pretty proud. 
Yeah, um, and to be honest, like coming into last week against Bentley here, um, I wasn't sure what they were going to produce. Um, their training was much better, their focus was much better. Um, but you just never know with players. You know, there's 22 heads head spaces in there, and uh, what are they going to produce? But I was pretty pleased what they did produce uh, at Bentley, and then they were really focused this week. They were, they're really on. So a lot of people ask me before a game, every game, how they're going to go. I go, I don't know. And I was nice and relaxed this week. I just thought, yeah, they're in a good place, and I'm hoping if they perform 20%, 30% better than what they did in the first time against Mordell like two weeks ago, then uh, then we're in a show because they're a quality team. They are strong and hard around the stoppages and did well. Troy coming back into the team, I didn't think he was going to be right. Um, he got through a, a very uh, rugged fitness test I put him through on Friday night, so you'll probably hear about that. Most of the fit guys said they wouldn't get through it, so he was able to get through it with his medial. Um, so him coming in, he was influential around the ruck. He was just awesome for us. So he, he gives that emotional confidence with the guys as well. So, yeah, not so much defending. Morgs had a great last two weeks for Morgs. He's been super. But I think com combination of that and you know, the three people, that hasn't been mentioned for ever. You know, it's been a long time since we did that because it's not about that. It's about improving and developing the group. And I think they've done that. And then the last two weeks is a, a test of their character. And you saw today what they can do. It's a pretty special achievement, isn't it? It, it is. So uh, I think it was what, was it 2000 since Baldwin achieved that. And so we know how much of a powerhouse they, they've been over the years, but uh, we don't spend any near as much money as they do, mate. So uh, to, to experience this and to be, you know, I was a Noble Park player you know, in my days and my last game here was in 1996 and we, we defeated Parto and they never achieved the, the three-peat and they played in many grand finals. But for this club to, you know, where they're out, they're sort of out out on their feet in 2006 and then to get involved with them in 2011 and, and now, what, seven seasons later to say we've got three in the bank. Yeah, it's pretty special. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, from where the club's come from to three-time premiers and especially considering what you've been through this year, is this the best of the lot? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely, mate. I mean, everyone's, every, every grand final is special and, and obviously when you win it. So I think to achieve what they did today and the way they did it today was probably even more so powerful. So I think that sends a really strong message that, you know, we're not going anywhere and I think they'll be a powerhouse next year. That's phenomenal, mate. Go and enjoy a win. You've uh, certainly earned it. Thanks, Will. This is to our 2017 Division One Premiers England Football Football Club. So congratulations to Dingley, they take out their third consecutive Division 1 Senior Premiership with a hard-fought victory over Morty Alec here at Springvale this afternoon. A perfect way for veteran ruckman Chris Morgan to bow out of the game, and no doubt it'll be a long night of celebrations down at the Dingley Sporting Club later tonight. Congratulations also to Oakley District, they took out the under-19s Premiership this afternoon with a hard-fought victory also over St Kilda City, and of course Cheltenham were victorious in the Division 1 reserves. That's all we've got time for from Spring Rail Reserve. We'll catch you at the footy next year.